What's good YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be discussing which Robin would get added to multiverse. You know, there's a lot of Robins. There's four. So we're going to be talking about which one would be the best idea to get added. But first, we're going to start with Jason Todd, my favorite, aka Red Hood. I'm sorry. I know I probably spoiled a lot of you, but yeah, Jason Todd's Red Hood. Jason. Yes. Okay, so Jason Todd fighting style is really, really aggressive. I think he's the most aggressive Robin out of any Robin. If that's the case, we can assume that he would be a combo heavy type of character. But also very impulsive, which adds to his attitude of just running up on people and just, you know, trying to give them some hands. Now, if Dick Grayson gets added or Nightwing, he's going to be a movement character because remember, he's a master in acrobatics. So I feel like with that knowledge, he would be a movement character. Yes, he'd probably be able to throw hands, but I feel like he'll be able to be a movement character more. And it would be weird to see him in twos because if he's a movement character, people are going to try to, I don't know, because you got to think Batman is extremely fast. Let's look at Batman, for example. He's a really fast character in multiverse. With that being said, I feel like his movement would be like Batman's, if not better's, because remember, he's better than Batman in terms of movement. And Batman is the fastest character in the game. So either they would have to nerf Batman's speed or they're going to keep Batman's speed and just put him in the game. And if he moves faster than Batman, ah, man, GG, man, I'm not going to lie. He's going to be fast as shit. Now, Tim Drake is more so like a thinker. He's more so like a detective. He takes that on from Batman. Now, Tim Drake, if he's like a critical thinker, I feel like he would be the Robin to really just set up a lot. Like, you know how Harley can set up with her boxes and her bombs? I feel like he'll be another one of those, especially with his staff. That would be so cool. But I feel like he'll be another set up type character. I don't know if Multiverse would want to add another setup character like that in the game because, you know, people already complain about Harley. So Tim Drake being added, that's basically like adding another Harley in the game. I don't know if y'all want that, but hey, man, I'd want that. Now, Carrie Kelly, aka Batwoman, aka Catgirl, I feel like they wouldn't make her a Robin because her last identity is Batwoman, but let's just talk about her being a Robin, right? I guess. If they add her as a character, I don't think they'll stoop to the Robin role. I honestly think they'll go to the Batman or Batwoman role. My apologies. Um, just because she gets a new identity, I feel the same way about Dick Grayson because he goes from Robin to Nightwing. And I feel the same way about Robin Hood, aka Jason Todd. The only one that doesn't really take on a new identity is Tim Drake. So with that being said, I feel like Tim Drake is going to be the Robin that gets added and all the other Robins are going to be like, you know, their own characters like Batwoman, Jason Todd and Nightwing. So my answer is Tim Drake is probably going to get added as the Robin. But, you know, I man, Jason Todd on top. I love Jason Todd. I'm a huge Jason Todd fan. I don't care. Red Hood. I want them to add Red Hood so bad. One thing I forgot to add is Damian Wayne, a.k.a. Batman's son. Now, Damian Wayne, he excels, if not matches every Robin on their own, own level. So Tim Drake, he's the critical thinker. Nightwing, he can really move. And Jason Todd, that aggressive fighting style. I feel like since he's Batman's son, he has that nigga's DNA, man. He has that nigga genetics. So he could just throw hands based off of that. And Batman taught all the Robins how to excel in their specific area. So not only does he have all the knowledge in one, he has the hands and the genetics and the DNA. So if they add Damien, it depends on what Damien Wayne they add, because you have the young Damien Wayne, he's just a hothead. And then you got the one where he became like a, uh, like a teenager, I guess. Like when he was like 17, I guess, around there where he was starting to cool out a little bit. And then, you know, Damien Wayne eventually comes Batman and we already have a Batman. So they can't add that type of a Damien Wayne. So it's one of the two. I feel like the younger version of him would throw hands if they added that one. I feel like the one where he's older would be a little more broken. I feel like he would just be movement, aggressive, setups, all that. I feel like he'd just be like the perfect Robin in the entire game. But yeah, if you guys enjoy videos like these, thank you so much. Um, hit that like and subscribe. I'll talk about what characters that could potentially get added to the game. I'm very excited, just like all of you. 
Multiverse is having a trailer tomorrow, actually, um, March 11th. So I'm looking forward to that. You guys have a really, really good day. I'll be streaming the trailer tomorrow on the 11th. That is TTV slash T-Y-M-I-E-R-R-R, three R's, Timer. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You guys have a really blessed day. Peace.